Perfect timing, Isabel. We're looking for a new campsite manager. And you look like just the type. Someone who can turn this empty campsite into a comfortable outdoor abode for you and your animal friends. Although the place looks a little empty now, you'll be able to build it out by earning materials you can use to craft decorative furniture. And that will get all sorts of animals coming for a visit. Welcome to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Let's start by crafting something for the campsite. But what should we build? Maybe if we explore nearby recreation spots, we'll get some tips. Here at Breezy Hollow, you can harvest a variety of fruits. Wonder what she's up to. Oh, of course, she's collecting fruit. It would be nice to help her out. You are a manager, after all. How about an apple? They're just a few shakes away. You got rewards? For picking an apple? Almost seems wrong. Cotton should come in handy when crafting furniture. Apparently, we need to talk to this guy. Let's put in an order right away. With this crafting material, we can make a couch. Cyrus will take your order. All it took was some cotton and bam, a couch. Now, where to put it? Hmm, ah, that's the spot. If you place an animal's favorite furniture items, he or she will come to visit. Good old Goldie. One little favor and now you can hang out. You're friends now. For the first time, you share a friendship level with each animal. You can chat or fulfill requests to raise it. If you level up your friendship and decorate with an animal's favorite furniture, he or she will come to visit your campsite. Hey, the campsite's looking pretty lively now. What should we craft next? A basket, how quaint. A guitar, awesome. The striped table or the swinging bench. Maybe a cactus? Eh, better go with the bench. All you need is, oh, six pieces of wood. You don't have enough, but we'll figure it out. Oh, right. With leaf tickets, you can supplement any materials you're running low on. You can get leaf tickets through regular gameplay or purchase them with real money. Leaf tickets are very useful, but it's also fun to hunt down the materials yourself. Sunburst Island is a great place to find bugs. Don't let that butterfly flutter by. Oh, another. Oh, that's right. We're here for materials. Oh, hey, Filbert. Huh? He wants a tiger butterfly? Well, he's in luck. Someone's little detours are about to pay off. Just the pieces of wood we're looking for. If you can't tell, you have plenty of places to explore. There's an island, a beach, a forest, a river, and you'll travel between them in your camper. 
Ah, saltwater shores. It's so relaxing here. Oh, may as well pocket some of this coral. Don't want it to go to waste. Now its existence has meaning. Maybe we could trade it for some wood. What you got for us, Rosie? Uh-huh. And look what we have here. An olive flounder. So much for the coral. Well, no one likes a hungry cat. It's fishing time. The water is just clear enough to see the fish's shadow. Could it be? An olive flounder? You must believe. Nope. Horse mackerel. For the sake of this video, let's... Oh, come on! There's got to be a better way. Ah, what luck. A throw net. You're a throw net now. This peaceful day of fishing just turned professional. Let me guess, a net full horse mackerel. Hey, there's a whole school in here. We got three olive flounders and no horse mackerels in sight. All right, still gotta make the trade. Our friendship level's getting up there. That makes six pieces of wood. We've got a swinging bench to craft. Cyrus really outdid himself this time. Looks great in the grass. That's a happy camper right there. In Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, time passes just like in real life. Morning, day, evening, and night. The scenery will change. Who knows what animals will show up? Crafting furniture isn't the only way to enjoy Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. There's so much more to show you. We've arrived at Marketplace. It's the go-to spot for shopaholics. This pop-up shop looks familiar. Nookling Global is run by Timmy and Tommy. They offer furniture items, some of which are a bit too fancy for Cyrus to craft. And here we have the Able Sisters to go. Uh, you must really be into polka dots. Maybe you're just window shopping. Oh, I see. You've got your eye on that yellow number. Fashionable camping is really in these days. Just ask Kix. He doesn't drive out here for nothing. The selection at each shop rotates, so don't be a stranger. Your camper isn't just for traveling. It's like a tiny home you can decorate with furniture. And I'm not just talking about the interior. The exterior is fully customizable. The premier camper customization company, OK Motors. Run by Giovanni, Beppe, and Carlo. Their exquisite paint jobs always impress. They're second only to the craftsman's amazing work with second floor extensions. Adding a loft is a bold but comfortable choice. It says, look at me, I'm a camping veteran and proud of it. Ugh, alone, huh? How typical. Brings a certain someone to mind, huh? Welcome to the neighborhood, everyone. Luckily, selling bugs, beached items, and minerals from Shovel Strike Quarry can score you the in-game currency, Bells. Shaking trees never hurts, too. Around these parts, some animals are both furless and featherless. It's best not to stare. These managers have their own campsites, but they may randomly stop by yours for a visit. You can also send your player ID to a real-life friend who also has the game. Then you can exchange bells for their fish, fruit, or bugs, and visit their campsite. 
Their decorations will reveal something about their personalities. And it never hurts to get some new customization ideas. If you really hit it off with someone, give them some much-deserved kudos. You can become friends, too. Once you're friends, you can visit their campsite anytime you like. Managers can be a boy or a girl. You can choose your skin color, hair color, and eye color. Whatever suits you. The campsite is really coming along, but it could use some new amenities. If we build a pool, animals will have a place to soak up the sun. Cyrus will need some extra time for an undertaking as epic as a new amenity. I hear leaf tickets can persuade him to move it up in priority. Whatever gets the job done. No need to rush it, though. Let's kick back and let him do his thing. Some furniture items take Cyrus a while to complete as well. But if you offer him leaf tickets, he'll get the job done faster. You can also exchange them for a throw net or honey to trap a ton of bugs. You could even use them to enter Shovel Strike Quarry and mine minerals worth a lot of bells. Leaf tickets, bells, and other bonus items can be earned by completing various goals. They're your ticket to the ultimate campout. It's that time. The pool we ordered from Cyrus is finally ready. And your animals are here to celebrate. Feels great being acknowledged for your managerial work, doesn't it? Time to kick back and admire your handiwork. There will be seasonal events, as well as furniture and outfits available for a limited time only through game updates. They'll begin rolling out after launch, offering new ways to have fun at the campsite. With familiar sights and new goals, the simple life is coming to smart devices. Wherever your journey may take you, relaxing days await in your pocket. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Check out our official site and Twitter account for the latest information. We'll update both of them when the game is released.